say you only wanna be best friends I just wanna be a damn girlfriend What I gotta do to make you face the truth? You didn't act like a friend that night Maybe that's why it felt so right Do I really need to spell it out for you? my series Thursdays with Tanya. This is a travel series and as you can see I have reached Thailand and I am in Pattaya city right now and it looks magical. It is my second time visiting Pattaya city and I simply love this place. It is my happy place. We have checked into the hotel and we are currently staying at Mid Hotel and it is so beautiful. This property is absolutely stunning. Very few properties tick all the boxes and this property has managed to be one of my favorite favorite property. I mean whatever I need in a hotel it has everything so I'm super super happy. I'll be giving a room tour very soon. So yes we have reached Pattaya city so basically we started like around 4 p.m. from Pune yesterday. So we went to Mumbai International Airport. So we reached around 7.30 and then we did all the immigration process, security process and all of that. And then we had like quick dinner uh, at Asia 7. So we had like fried rice and dim sums. And then we grabbed a coffee and a dessert at Starbucks and then we proceeded to the gate. But our flight was delayed by 30 minutes. So our departure time was updated to 12.30 a.m. And we reached Bangkok like around 5.30 a.m. I mean Bangkok time. And uh, then we were looking for some, you know, taxi because I didn't go for a you know, package or a tour package. I didn't book it in that way. I had already booked my flights and my hotels. I just needed to book a transport, you know, from Bangkok International Airport to Pattaya City. So I thought, you know, I can just book through Grab app. So that's what I did. But what happened was, you know, the communication problem. Uh, the driver that was assigned was not able to speak in English. So it was so difficult. I was just waiting at the exit 4, which was like the taxi area but I think he was in a different floor and I was in a different floor and we were trying to communicate to each other but I was not able to understand his language he was not able to understand English so it was a problem so I couldn't you know book my cab I had to cancel it and then I had to look for another mode of transport then we moved to gate number eight and booked a bus but luckily the bus was amazing but only problem was the departure time was like after two hours if I wasn't looking for the cab and I would have been there in gate number 8 directly then I would have got the bus right in the time but since I was looking for the cab so I missed that slot but anyway that two hours was covered you know in the food court of the airport where we had our breakfast and then we took our bus and it was a very very comfortable journey so the journey time was around two hours to reach Pattaya but the roads were so beautiful so broad so it was a very very smooth journey and the scenery was also so beautiful I completely enjoyed that journey I think I'm might book the bus also you know to go from Pattaya to Bangkok after two days so uh, yeah it was a very very good service and it was just for 143 Thai baht per person which was so affordable if you like book a grab taxi it was around 1300 Thai baht and if you go for like AOT like the limousine service that would be around 4000 baht I guess yes but this was like so affordable and so convenient I was dropped at North Pattaya and then we took a tuk-tuk like all the families that you know got down at North Pattaya they all traveled in that tuk-tuk thing and then we were dropped at our respective hotels so it was a very very convenient service so in this complete 12 hours I traveled by flight I traveled by bus I traveled by tuk-tuk as well and then we grabbed like quick lunch uh, it was just nearby and honestly this hotel is in such great location I always wanted to book a hotel in North Pattaya because North Pattaya is like a stunning place I can see the beach right in front of me and everything 
everything is just right here you just need to walk and you will get so many places to dine even you can hang out in the beach area in your sun bed with the umbrella with coconut water so it's just so beautiful and yeah i can see you know people enjoying parasailing boating jet ski and all of that so yes i am just simply loving it now we are heading out to go to sanctuary of truth probably do the room tour tomorrow because now we have like settled in i have taken a bath so the bathroom is a little wet so i'll give a proper fresh room tour tomorrow so now let's get going so guys this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing this denim maxi dress and i'm carrying my gucci bag and that's my view beautiful sea and that hotel if you can see that that's the a1 hotel which looks like a ship and that's the sea so guys this is the hotel that i was talking about it actually looks like a ship and it has a lighthouse of its own <laughs> that's the beach area and that's our hotel actually so very very close by we just need to walk and reach the beach area Coconut water is like fifty bucks. There are like so many massage centers in here. I mean, you have to take a foot massage or some kind of massage when you are in Pattaya. I just love this area. It's so vibrant. Even the buildings are like so colorful. And um, yeah, everyone is like dressed in such pretty attires with orchid flowers and everything. Yes, now we are going to Sanctuary of Truth in this tuk tuk, which is so spacious, and they have charged us like hundred baht per person. Sabi, so, where are we going? We are going to Sanctuary of Truth Museum. Okay. So, what was the ticket price? Since we had not done the online booking, so in here, uh, 500 baht per person. Mm -hmm. There will be a guide who will be assisting us. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we have to find the guide there near the entrance. Okay. And then we have like one hour to see the museum. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, then we have to leave by six. Okay. So it's a perfect time actually because uh, there will be sunset yeah. happening right now. I can already see. It. Oh yeah. So guys, if you are going for online booking, you can refer to Klook app. So over there, it was one ticket for nine hundred rupees. But since we are going for offline booking, so it was for five hundred baht.
so guys there is some construction that's going on that's why we are wearing this helmet but this place is definitely a must visit place because it's breathtaking it's really beautiful and you can click a lot of pictures here Finally, I've got a spot where we can spot the sunset here. So guys, we are done with Sanctuary of Truth Museum and it was definitely a great experience. I would highly recommend this. Uh, plus, there are so many other activities as well like elephant ride, which I will not personally recommend because it's like animal cruelty. But there are like boat rides as well, which is around 400 baht. So you can go for that. Now we will head out for dinner. The exit time was around 6 p.m. But it's now 5.30 p.m. We are done with it. We are going to click a couple of more pictures and then we will head out for dinner. Hi guys, we are back from Sanctuary of Truth Museum and we had to like come back because we had to recharge our body and all our electronic devices. Our GoPro is also going to shut down and my phone had already you know got switched off. So I had to come back, recharge my electronic devices. So it's getting charged and now probably in an hour, right Abhi? Um, after a few minutes or we have one hour? Yeah, like so we have one hour now. Okay, so after one hour, we have to go for Alcazar Cabaret Show, which is uh, scheduled for 8 p.m. And we have heard a lot about Pattaya's nightlife, so we want to experience that. So tonight, we are going to explore the street here, especially in the North Pattaya region. And uh, yeah, we are going to film that a bit. Now we are going to have some pizza for dinner. We got this from Mood Pizza, which is just next to our hotel. And we are super excited to have because it's just freshly out of the oven. And it looks delicious plus it smells incredible so we are going to have that pizza and then we're going to go to the Alcazar show and then we're going to explore the nightlife guys I forgot to mention that we have been walking so much we are covering so many distances just by foot and that's why our step count is 12,992 steps it's insane right Abhi and how many hours it has been it's been just uh, six seven hours i mean that's crazy because aaj ke din mein, most of the time we were either in flight or we were coming by bus right but still whenever we have got the chance we have like walked so much and that's why we were able to get you know 12,992 steps and now we have to go to Alcazar show which is around uh, 10 minutes from here and that also we are going to walk there and then from there we are going to explore the North Pattaya region completely by foot like the sea area so I think we are going to cover around uh, four to five thousand steps more which is again insane and my phone had got switched off when we were in Sanctuary of Truth Museum otherwise it would have recorded around 13,000 200 steps for sure i guess but yeah i'm really proud of ourselves that we are able to explore by foot and we are also taking in absorbing everything and trying to stay fit and that's why i think we are working on a good appetite we are feeling hungry like after every two hours and that's good Hi guys, 
इट्स द नेक्स्ट डे एंड कल हम गए थे अलकजा शो वहाँ पे फिल्मिंग अलाउड नहीं था सो आई कुडन फिल्म बट इट वॉज अ स्पेक्टैकुलर शो इट इज़ अ मस्ट विजिट शो इट वॉज फुल ऑफ लाइक फन एलिमेंट्स ग्लैमर एंड द परफॉर्मर्स वर सो पॉइज एंड सो सोफिस्टिकेटेड डेफिनेटली इट इज़ अ मस्ट विजिट प्लेस एंड वॉज ऑल वर्थ इट एंड आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड वाई सो मेनी पीपल कम लिटरली इट वॉज फुल ऑफ बसेज एंड पीपल coming in and enjoying the show it's a full family show so kids can also go and watch it then we went to the beach and then to the walking street which was jam packed and there were like so many performances happening this is turkish ice cream show a lot of adult shows were happening a lot of live events were happening so it was a full blown party place there were like street vendors plus good seafood restaurants as well so you can definitely mark that in your must visit place as well when you are in pataya And now we are going for an island tour which I was so excited about. I'm already dressed so I'm going to show you the full outfit. So yeah, let's get going. So this is my outfit for the island tour. I'm completely dressed in white. So this is the cot set from Urbanic. I really love this and I'm wearing this tank top from Tommy Hilfiger. You can also wear a bandeau top which will look stunning. Yeah, this is my outfit for the island tour. And Abhi, what are you wearing? Just a shirt with shorts. <laughs> Oh, lovely. The weather is incredible today. It's very cloudy, so hopefully we won't get burned and tanned. And now we're going to talk to the driver of the speedboat so that he can take us to the Kolan Island. This is the boat we are taking, and he agreed for three thousand three hundred baht, which is expensive. It won't be that expensive if you are going in a group, but we wanted to make it like a private tour, so that's why we are okay in paying three thousand three hundred baht. Otherwise, you can go with group, and it will not cost you that much. But yeah, now we are going to Kolan Island. I'm very very excited. Abhi, I think it's your first time, right? Going in a speedboat. This kind of So you have been in ferry. I have been in fast ferries and all. Ah. Huh. But this private speed boat is not possible. Oh, lovely! Let's go. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> Guys, we have reached Kolan Island, and the speedboat tour was incredible. It was so so good, but the water was so choppy, and it was raining, so it made it little more adventurous. But um, we enjoyed to the fullest. <laughs> we got wet as well, and the water in here in Kolan is so blue. It's turquoise blue. and there are so many activities that's happening like banana ro banana boat ride jet ski ride and parasailing and uh, also like a uh, foot massages if you can also book like the sun beds and you can take foot massage you can also have your lunch there but we are now sitting inside and there is like a good amount of market stuff present here there are like seashells there are like so many beach wear you can find if you are looking for something you know to take a uh, to your home or you want to wear something in here you can definitely find a lot of options in here and now we are sitting for lunch uh, we have ordered um, shrimps shrimps and mussels shrimps and mussels we have never tried mussels so it's going to be our first time so fingers crossed i hope we will like it <laughs>
shilling in the sun bed. So what was the cost for me? Hundred bucks for one shilling. Okay guys now we are back to the room I'm wearing this hotel bathrobe because my dress was completely wet so now let's do the room tour first so this is the entrance to our room and here we have the bathroom which I'll cover a little later let's move to this side and here we have the dressing station I have kept my makeup pouch in here and we have good size mirror over here so I sit down here like this and here I do my makeup and here also we have like a good sized mirror where I get ready and do my outfit check. Here I have my makeup bag and I have some storage space in here where I have kept my hand cream, my comb and this pouch which has sunscreen. Here I have some hair scrunchies and my sunglasses and this storage space has the space for my electronic items. The remaining electronic items are in the bag which I took for the island tour. Now let's move to the bedroom. We have like good cozy bed in here, a very big TV, a small table, good size couch and this is the station where I keep my luggage. This is a very very helpful thing in a hotel room and here we have the mini bar. Only we have the complimentary water placed in here, a coffee machine, a Kenwood water heater and then we have some ice bucket and here we have some glasses, my green tea cup, the coffee cup and uh, here we have also kept some luggage and the best part is this view this is a junior suite room with a sea view and i really love this large size windows and the sun comes you know so bright and nice and i can see the entire sea here i do have like these buildings blocking the entire view but uh, still it's so breathtaking and here also you can see the sea view I have another window or a big glass pane in here. I have this hotel view in here so I keep it closed. Now let's move to this area. So this is the big sized mirror and again we have a wardrobe with mirror in here. So this is the robe that they gave and they have also given for Abhimanyu. So this is the robe in here and these are some of our clothes. This is my nightdress, quite messy but I have my capsule in here. And now let's move to the bathroom. So this is a very, very nice bathroom with the sea view and a very, very nice deep bathtub which I'm going to use it today. And this is the bath station. And we have some complimentary products like conditioner, shampoo, shower gel and good tissues in here. Plus we have body lotion placed in here. I have not gone through all these kits that they have provided but I'm going to use them while I'll be taking my bath and it also has a balcony space if you can see very nice and bright such a nice thing to have in a hotel room especially when you have a sea view I enjoy my time over there in the evening which I have not filmed especially you know after I have like had a tiresome walk in the city I just stand there and look at the sea view and it is so surreal and so beautiful to see yeah this is our room tour okay guys now i'm ready i'm feeling so good after a good shower we are going out we will have quick dinner and then we are going to take the day very light because yesterday we did around 21,000 steps and today also we have completed 10,000 steps and i think we have to take the day very light today we will do like good thigh massage or like foot massage which is so famous in thailand so we're going to enjoy all the massages we'll have good food and then tomorrow we are going to bangkok
Hi guys, good morning. It's the next day. It's time to leave Pattaya and go to Bangkok. And yesterday was a fun night. We went to Fat Coco, which is just in front of us, like in A1 Hotel. And it had such a beautiful, beautiful menu. Plus, the location is right, like, you know, in front of the beach. So we watched the sunset and it was so beautiful. The place was a little pricey. I mean, the food items were a little high priced because of the location. Um, so both of us, you know, we ate like two dishes and we ordered two drinks and that costed us around 15-30 Thai baht so yeah more than 3000 rupees um, but it was a great experience and then uh, we went you know we were just wandering around the city uh, we also went to 7-eleven that was my first time visiting 7-eleven and my god i was like so surprised there were like so many options to buy like if someone is staying in a hostel and they want like quick food to grab they can just go to 7-eleven and get a proper combo so there was this like stir fried chili fish with um, fried rice and that was for 45 thai baht so like approximately 100 rupees which is insane so there was this chicken option and so many veg options as well I also picked up few items so the first thing that I picked up was prawn crackers because I'm crazy about prawn crackers and I have picked up this donut roll uh, it's like it has chocolate filling and then similarly I had picked up another donut cake roll uh, which has vanilla filling and Abhi has already eaten half of it but has kindly kept few bits for me and then some banana Plus from a street vendor, I got this cut mangoes. You won't believe this is for 80 Thai baht. More than like 160 rupees, right? Almost like 200 rupees. Expensive, but yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to experience the mangoes because I've seen so many vlogs. People eating like sticky mango rice plus so many cut mangoes. So I just wanted to experience it. It was nice. It was actually nice. I'm going to finish that today. Let's have this donut cake before leaving for Bangkok. And yesterday, we were like wandering around and we managed to complete 18,000 steps. I mean, that was insane. So the first day we did 21,000 steps and the second day we did 18,000 steps. So definitely my feet, my everything was hurting. My body was aching. So uh, we went for Thai massage, which is like so famous in Thailand. So we went to Rin, I guess that was the place and it was very sophisticated very calming very beautiful place so we went there both of us booked like traditional thai massage for one hour and uh, as expected it was <laughs> incredible and uh, i felt so relaxed it was a little bit intense for me because i'm used to light or light to medium pressure so it was a bit intense for me but when she was doing it it was painful but uh, after some time i felt that relief and that was the intention of getting that massage and i slept so well last night so it was a pretty good massage so now we will get ready and leave for bangkok and we have also arranged the bed in fact the entire room so we like to you know leave the bed and the entire room the way we found it and yeah so this is it and I'm going to see you in my next vlog in Bangkok. Bye!